This is going to be a CCUV 4 inch transitional liner. This very 4 inch right here which we wet out two days ago is going to be pushed into place through this 4 to 6 transition. This very same bladder, this is our, our 3 foot launcher, uh, comes in a 3 foot, that 11 foot, the largest one is a 33 foot offering. Jason's going to push it in place here. We'll do a, a, a staged inflation. We've cut out uh, some cutouts here so that once it's inflated, you'll be able to come back. and see. Okay, you're in position, ready to inflate. Yeah, we're vacuuming down now, Michael says. So we'll vacuum it right down to flat. Then we'll increase it back up to uh, 20 pounds and then we'll turn the lights on. Magic time. The only time this resin cures is if it gets the UV light. I've had a piece in Florida at my shop sitting out like this, basically like on the concrete in the sun and rain 24 hours a day for the last six months. I could take it, run it through the calibrated roller one more time to redistribute the resin, pop it onto a launcher, stick it inside and zap it. Nothing will affect this like this. Michael says we're ready. It's going to have his associate Vanna there, push the green button. Oh, and look at that. We're lit. So right here, guys, we have a built-in timer. So it's going to count down 10 minutes, and once it does, the lights automatically shut off. Switch over, go to vacuum, extract your liner. This is like a time machine. We get the exact same effect. However, we're down to 10 minutes. 10 minutes total. A little bit of time for the inflation sequence. Let's say 5 to 20, 10 minutes for that. But then the, the final cure is based off our largest size. So if you can cure a six inch 33 footer in 10 minutes that's the same time we use for all of them this machine in particular does three inch through six inch sizes each size will transfer to the next size without losing any thickness whatsoever so this is basically what you're looking at when this thing is done a beautiful transition from four to six seamless and again it's not losing any thickness a lot of systems out there run off 220 volts and higher uh, this one including the exotherm has never been higher than 140 Fahrenheit. So we do call it cold cure because we're not having to run any auxiliary fans for cooling to keep the temperature down so that we're not melting stuff, right? So you've got voltmeters here as well as amp readers. So if one of those drops, okay, and only gives you like half the, uh, half the amperage draw that you're supposed to, that means some of your lights are out. This has dual power. There's double strands. This is what we call it a double helix light core. The one's running off of the one and the one's running off the other. If the one goes out so that you're only getting every other strand, it'll still cure your entire liner. All right, so what are some of the benefits to CCUV from an owner's perspective? This, summer or winter, is a 10 minute cure. You're saving on time. Also, if you're doing an ambient cure, how often have you pulled a liner only to have to wait for another four or five hours before you can go in and reinstate so that's 100% hard, right? This particular stuff, the second you pull that bladder out, you're ready to reinstate. It's hard on the spot. So if I was gonna come in and reinstate this with a Bacot cutter or an internal IST cutter, something of that nature, I've got the machinery all ready so that the second we pull out, we're in there and reinstate. So it's more efficient, you'll drop more liners per day that's going to take care of any of your worries about labor because most times your biggest cost is your labor. If you can drop more and get home earlier, you're going to have happier employees. You're going to get more production. It's win-win all around. We are vacuuming down. That's the 10 minutes. Michael vacuums down, reduces the pressure off the inside of the liner. Once it's out, we'll do a quick light test and an air test to ensure that we haven't got any holes in our bladder and that we don't have any lights out. Do a visual check on it. Um, and then we'll load up the next one, put it in, pop her on in. The, uh, there's a sacrificial plastic layer that goes in between every one of them. So then that would, that's what keeps the, uh, the bladder clean, if you're in cast iron especially. So there's your launcher. That's like I said, that's uh, Mike, do you want to do the light test first? Okay, ready? Stare directly at it. There it goes. Bam. Okay. An air test, please. The air test that we do, we only bring it up to about five to seven PSI. Not enough to expand, just enough to check your ends. And that's it. That's all.